test is for uh, the meniscus, and this test is called medial and lateral grind. Uh, I like this test probably better than the McMurray's because with the McMurray's, you tend to have some false positives with uh, MCL, LCL issues, patella tendon issues, that sort of thing. With the medial and lateral grind, it's just a little more straightforward, okay? So with this test, all you're doing is getting them into full knee flexion. So once they get a knee bend to about 90 degrees, from there we're starting to engage the meniscus, they're gonna start to have some pain here. And as we go in, the pain will increase, okay? And we're gonna keep going to full knee flexion. The pain should be wrapping around the joint line where the meniscus is, okay? Now the, the medial and lateral grind part of this is we're using our hand that's on the ankle and we're rotating the lower leg, okay? So we just give them a little twist, okay, that really digs into the meniscus and it takes out some of the extra uh, areas where they can have some pain like MCL, LCL when we do this test. So uh, if the pain is increasing from just going well, the pain will increase as we get into the deeper knee flexion, but as we do the medial and lateral grind, the pain will be even greater. And if the pain is located along the joint line, then that indicates meniscus pathology.